Hi, I'm Connor at Lake Norman Marina. I'm on a 2016 Cobalt R3. And today I'm going to be showing you the brand new Easy Fold Bimini, uh, the premium Bimini that Cobalt now offers. Uh, this is really cool because be before there were just little pop latches that you'd have to remove to fold this Bimini down. Now it's as simple as just releasing a lever on both sides of the Bimini. And then it just slides down and locks in the down position. And it's as simple as flipping those levers back up, lifting up, flipping the lever down on both sides, and now you can go through a, a, a low clearance bridge without the hustle and bustle of removing poles and the, and the like. So that's how you collapse it and raise the bimini itself. To actually open the bimini, it's just as simple as removing this bimini boot here, which is just one zipper, all the way across, and then you'll pull the bimini boot over the top of the stern light. You've just got this cutout opening right here. Then you'll want to, what you want to do is fold this up, place it somewhere so it's not going right, to go away. Now we're going to go ahead and take the front bimini support frame and just pull it forward. Don't be afraid of letting it fall forward. It's not going to go anywhere because it's attached to that rear support. Then what I have here is the front bimini support. I pulled these out of the ski locker. They're, they're actually nicely clipped into the side of the ski locker down there. You have two of them, but I just brought out one for demonstrative purposes. So you'll see you'll have a, the male end here and the receiving end here on the side of the hull. Also, right here, you'll have an opening for this to attach to the front bimini support. So all we have to do is go ahead and release this knob. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. So we'll release that there. We'll line up the hole here with the correlating receiver here on the frame. We'll go ahead and put our screw back in through both of those holes. Like so, and we'll go ahead and tighten that up. All right, once that's secure, we'll go ahead and put the front part into the receiver on the hull. So we'll just go ahead and pull towards the receiver put the knob in the hole down here and you just push in and then once that's locked in you can go ahead and adjust your bimini arm by either tightening or loosening it to bring tension down on the bimini itself or to loosen it. All right, now we're going to go over how to close the bimini canvas from the open position so just the opposite of how we went to put it up. So first we'll start at this upper receiver here and to release this I usually push in on the arm to release tension down here at the receiver. So I'll go ahead and push in, and you see there's a rectangular knob right there. You'll just pull that knob towards the bow of the boat, and that will rele release the male end on this receiver. So I'll go ahead and push in, move the knob down, and then pull out to, re to release that arm. Then up here, we just have the twist knob, so I'll just go to the left to loosen that up, and that releases this arm. So right now, I just go ahead and stow this away, because remember, these, these do not float. So I'd go ahead and put it under the ski locker down here. I'll just set it here for the time being. We'll replace this knob here at the bimini frame. Tighten that up so it doesn't go anywhere or it's not flapping in the wind. And then I typically go um, to the middle section of the bimini frame and push up to allow the bimini to collapse into itself. And then I'd go ahead and take the bimini canvas and kind of tuck it into itself up here. So, then I'll grab the bimini boot that we stored away for operation. And remember, you have your cutout for your stern light right there. So we'll place that over the top of the stern light. And then we'll start placing the, can or the bimini boot over the canvas. And then we'll go ahead and zipper it. It's just the one zipper on, on this model. So it's best to just tuck in fabric as you zipper, keep it neat and tidy. Alrighty, and there you have it. That's how to close and open the Bimini top on a 2016 R3 
with the new and improved flapsable easy flaps 